from digitaltrends.com. Twitter is struggling to keep viral pandemic conspiracy video off its platform. And this is really important to understand about the texture of coronaphobia right now to see what's being censored aside from all of my posts being shadow banned everywhere. I posted something yesterday on Facebook that, that was about the South Dakota debate about asking questions. Zero comments. One like. And you go, wait a second. I have like 5,000 friends and 25,000 followers on this platform. Mm, I think you forgot to post this one. I think you forgot to let people see this. Some, something's going on here. And I've thought of Twitter as a more fair platform. But even they, even the great Jack Dorsey himself, has been led to a new level of censorship, it seems, with the uh, excuse of coronavirus, perhaps the bullying around coronavirus, like people around him saying, hey, you know, if you're not, if, if, you, if you let your platform be used for misinformation and people die, that blood is on your hands. And you go, uh, 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 okay. So to the story, it's been about a week since a lengthy preview from the conspiracy documentary, Plandemic went viral across the internet. The 25 minute video sent tech companies like Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook into a frenzy as they scrambled to scrape it off their platforms. The hoax, which featured discredited anti-vaccination scientist, Dr. Judy Mikovits, and has been debunked, sought to expose the scientific and political elite to run the scam that is our global health system and accused Dr. Anthony Fauci a leading member of the White House Coronavirus Task Force of bearing anti-vaccination research. Now, those are pretty mild things. Uh, the scientific and political elite have, uh, you know, run the scam that is our global... Well, look, our global healthcare system has been taken over by governments that are set up to make the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. All the corruptions of the medical industry are obviously feeding into this trend with corporatism, with the pharmaceutical industry. So to say that there is a scientific and political elite who run our, our global health system and that it's a scam. Uh, I mean, maybe the characterization of scam, I, I might not agree with the, the use of that word that the whole, you know, it, but it is certainly corrupted to the point where most of it and certainly the systems imposed on it are a scam. That Anthony Fauci buried anti-vaccination research. We know that this is a, this is a very, like I would, even if I was pro, even if I was a fan of Fauci, I would be saying, yeah, of course, as, as in his position as, uh, you know, the uh, head of what allergy and infectious diseases for the CDC, that, that he would uh, do something to make research that he deems less relevant uh, to be buried. Yeah, of course he would do that. Um, it, 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 unless he's a, and even if he is perfectly honest and well-intentioned, he would be probably doing, he would be varying some anti-vaccination research because some of it's dumb. Oh, of course, you put any category of any scientific research, some of it's going to be dumb and should be buried. These, these are pretty obvious statements. However, over the past week, the pandemic videos continue to resurface their alternative video hosting websites. While other social media giants such as Facebook and YouTube have managed to slow the hoax to spread. Now they're saying that this video is a hoax. Unofficial links to the pandemic, and it's not. The, the, the hoax, the word hoax is, is to suggest deliberate trickery on behalf of the actor. You might say that you, you could with integrity say that the video is inaccurate, but to call it a hoax, no, the people, this is just really bad journalism. Not a reason not to cover something, of course. So. Uh, managed to slow the hoax's spread. Unofficial videos, link, li video links to the pandemic documentary continue to seep through Twitter's policies and moderating algorithms. Digital Trends found an endless stream of tweets that redirect to the conspiracy theory video. I mean, just, this is such a silly, like, label lynching, discrediting term. You're a conspiracy theorist. No, no, no. I'm, we're looking at facts. We're conspiracy realists here. Of course, you have to introduce some theories to understand all the manipulation that is being conducted by authorities around this pandemic. Common among the most uh, most of these posts were two fairly popular video hosting platforms, BitChute and Alt Censor. So yes, here's to them. Thank goodness we have alternatives for when these mainstream social media websites turn into censorship mechanisms. We have alternatives, which are predominantly positioned as hubs for content that other mainstream services have blocked. More disturbingly, Digital Trends discovered Alt Censored's Twitter account 
has been actively spamming tweets that mention the keyword pandemic with links to the pandemic documentary on top of that alt censored links can be played natively on twitter so users don't have to leave the social networking site at all some of the tweets we came across had been retweeted and liked several times oh my gosh one of them was tweeted by a verified profile and embedded a bit shoot link that has been screamed a million and a half times so far this is amazing that despite the censorship and it, it, it's funny that i'm getting the story of course from a website that takes the perspective without you know without being open about it what their editorial position is that they are pro coronaphobia they are pro government they are pro censorship um the tweet said quote youtube has deleted dr judy mikovitz viral documentary pandemic which exposes the truth behind covid 19. thankfully we have bit shoot who are pro free speech and anti-censorship liked by nearly a thousand people to stem the pandemic misinformation tie twitter has so far taken a number of steps and began censoring widely circulated hashtags such as pandemic plague of corruption pandemic movie plus earlier this week the social network introduced new labels for tweets with misleading information it also marks a handful of urls including pandemicmovie.com as unsafe and displays a precautionary warning whenever users attempt to access them from twitter's website and apps now remember the goal in all of this sifting through information and understanding what is being censored from you is to seek clarity because they are deliberately spreading confusion and misinformation government numbers being revised downwards contradicting each other different states different counties different cities with different policies for lockdowns for shutdowns for guidelines to the point where the new york city health department has to remind its residents to stop looking at each other's buttholes because that's how the virus is being spread and i'm not joking that was part of their directive to say avoid oral anal sex like really this is what we are faced with today from government it is a deliberate shitstorm of confusion so I'm not saying, hey, go seek out this documentary. Although, yeah, I haven't watched it yet myself. I cannot endorse it. But I am endorsing you finding the truth for yourself. I am endorsing you being thoughtful, active, engaged consumers of information, understanding that these websites do not support freedom of speech. They are not going to allow you to get the truth. So it is absolutely crucial that we fight back, that we find our own mechanisms of finding out the truth and that's why i'm so grateful for this conversation for everybody who watches this show live calling me out if i'm missing something if there's some aspect of some story that i've got wrong you can correct me live on the air right here thanks to comment jim freedom and studio that's what's important and i hope that from this conversation everybody gets this clarity and it's not necessarily going to come from jumping down every rabbit hole and i gotta say i'm grateful that the pandemic documentary exists, that they were able to put this together so quickly in real time and create something that provides us with a counter narrative and that there are a lot of people who are able to question what's going on. I'm sure they got some things wrong just out of rushing this thing to, to, to release. And, and you know, that's that's a, a, an acceptable risk that you take in, in such a project. So, I, you know, I would support it even with those flaws, but more importantly, figure out for yourself what is a rational approach to the situation that we are in right now and it's not your the rational approach isn't well let me start let me just obsessively do hours and hours and hours of research and jump down every rabbit hole and see what what, what did it come from a weapons lab or a wet market or is doctor where's what did dr fauci say in 1993 about the other virus and the bad flu season around h1n1 and no 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 you know, when there's a knife in your back, you don't study the knife, you get it out. And so I'm bringing you this story to point out just as you go about your normal information processing in a daily, whatever your, your routine is, that you realize how much is being kept from us and how much is being censored. So a few more uh, points from this story. The conspiracy video includes false claims that wearing a face mask activates and speeds up the virus's transmission and that shelter in place orders damage the immune system, which seem in direct violation of Twitter's refreshed enforcement guidance. No, and it's true. Shelter in place orders damage the immune system. Now, do you want to parse out the semantics of this? Do the stay at home orders do it? No, but not getting sunlight, not getting physical activity, not being around other people. Yeah, that does damage your immune system. No shit. 
Um, does now wearing a mask activate speed up the virus's transmission? Probably in some ways, although, you know, the, this thing about the masks, there's so many contradicting stories. There's, you know, like the jogger who died because they suffocated while running with a mask on, please. Uh, so th that they're actually doing this and saying, well, Twitter has enforcement guidance. Something bad is happening. Now we have to throw free speech out the window. No, this is the most important time for freedom of speech to be respected, for us to have a reasoned, open, adult conversation, cool, calm, and collected about what's really happening, not allow governments or social media giants to determine what is an appropriate part of the conversation. And when they suppress these things, they actually have a whiplash effect. You know, when, when it's, it's the Streisand effect, right? When you try to bury something, people pay attention to it more because you're trying to bury it. Obviously, to some extent, that's happening with this but they don't mind they don't mind because they want the confusion they want to deny you clarity they want to deny you the ability to see through the swirling shitstorm that they have kicked up all around us in order to take advantage of us so it's not necessarily that i want you to go and spend the time researching all of these things and jumping down every rabbit hole I want you to have clarity in what you do with your life and how you face this crisis. One guideline seems to explicitly forbid the kind of public health misinformation the pandemic video is peddling warning against content that intends to, quote, influence people into acting against recommended guidance, such as, quote, social distancing is not effective. I mean, just, this is, so wrong, so, so dangerously wrong. Anything asking you to go against recommended guidance is now inappropriate in this conversation. I wonder, I wonder how much, you know, I'm, I'm being censored on Twitter now having put out this kind of content myself, although not specifically for the pandemic videos, I wouldn't promote it without having seen it. But that it, what, what, what you're saying now is that we are going to make the conversation about obedience. Obedience. Just obey. Just obey. Whatever the recommended guidance is, obey. Don't even quite, we're not going to let, let you use Twitter to question recommended guidances. Not, so if it's it, just it, influencing into acting, not even saying we're going to, now it'd be one thing that like, you know, we know that this gets people hurt. But we're willing to be questioned on it. We will not let you use our platform to tell people to do stuff that is now illegal that we have decided is in the okay, okay, maybe. They would have half a leg to stand on instead of no leg to stand on. But that they're saying we won't even let you question. That's what this means. Anything that could influence people into acting against the guys means you cannot. censored hang on is that uh, what you're, yes you're gargling like you're underwater and it was like you're being censored in live time um very weird to hear on my end um i started looking at the stream and it's fine but your audio just went like, just now just now in like an hour and 19 minutes into the show rainbow Jones and now you're and back can anybody now, confirm now, on the yeah, broadcast end i only hear production end yeah yeah, no, it got confirmed. Did maybe did someone mention pandemic in know. the comments? They're just letting you They're, know. We're watching you. No, I mean, oh god. Maybe and I was, that live time. I, I mean, I was really just getting to the to the most important point here. Uh, I'll just finish the story and come back to that to make sure we're clear to drive this point home. The coronavirus infodemic will continue to pose a problem for social networks. The ability of these videos to dodge Twitter set policies is especially worrying. <gasps> oh my God, you can get around the censors in the internet. You can't stop the free flow of information because we have the technology. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's worrying. Yeah, if you're, I don't even believe that this is an honest story. Accounts like Alt Censored have also been able to slip through the cracks despite being an active distributor of conspiracy theories and other sorts of misinformation videos. 
Even if Twitter takes these tweets down now, they will still be viewed and shared by thousands. Digital trends ask Twitter why these tweets and accounts hadn't been taken down. We will update the story when we hear back. Why not more censorship? What is the effect of this? Here's the bottom line. You are being misled by the mainstream media, by governments all over the world, and now by these social media platforms, including Twitter, that we trusted to be places where we could check that official narrative, where we could have reasoned conversations as adults without censorship. Even now, those platforms are being used to lead you to believe that the sentiment of the American public that the people of the world want you to obey. They do not. We do not. We do not support blind obedience to any authority, to any government. And I dare say that this video itself might not be around for much longer either. What I am saying now, if more people realize this, this is a bigger threat to their entire racket than the pandemic documentary. If people understood what I'm telling you right now, we would overthrow these systems overnight. There would be a revolution by morning if the American people understood that we are all on the side of the disobedient now. None of us want this government to keep doing what it is doing right now, ripping us off, taking away our rights, pushing us into a forced unemployment crisis so that they can manipulate us and rip us off and use fear and submission in these tactics of manipulating the conversation to get us to obey, to be submissive. The reason they censor and they control the population's conversation this way is that they want you to believe you are alone. That you are the only one who feels this way. Everybody else wants censorship. Everybody else wants big daddy government to come in and save us. Everybody else thinks that you're crazy. Thinks that you need to, you need to be locked up. You need to be quarantined for your dangerous ideas. That's not true. That's not the reality. You are the majority that is being censored. This will of the majority is being silenced. And I do hope we learn from this crisis. If nothing else, we learn the true motivations of the people who control these systems that run our lives. And we say, we're not going to let them have this power anymore. We will no longer be obedient. Because we know that we are not alone. You are not alone. Reach out past the censors, however it is that you have to, to find the truth, to get that clarity. Because that clarity will drive us to a critical mass of civil disobedience like the world has never seen before. That is what we have to look forward to is the ultimate silver lining from the era of coronaphobia. Thank <laughs> you.